Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to control a servo motor with the help of face tracking module using Raspberry Pi 4 camera module. I have already created the video how to control servo motor with the help of face tracking using USB webcam but today we are going to use here our Raspberry Pi 4 camera module okay so if you don't know how to connect the Raspberry Pi 4 camera module I have already created the video how to connect the Raspberry Pi 4 camera module with the Raspberry Pi 4 so I will mention the video link watch video and just connect the Raspberry Pi 4 camera module with the raspberry pi 4 okay then before we move to our practical friends if you learned something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends first you need to install the latest open cv tensorflow light and media pipe on raspberry pi 4 buster legacy version 32 bit okay so i have already created the video how to install the latest open cv tensorflow light and media pipe on raspbian buster legacy version okay so let's get started so i have already installed the open cv tensorflow light and the media pipe on raspbian buster legacy version so if i open the terminal i need to make here a zoom in first so let me show you if i go with sudo python 3 and then cv2 uh, first i need to mention import cv2 okay it will import the cv2 then cv2 dot version okay and then like this way so as you can see this is what the latest version which is the 4.6.0 okay so as i mentioned i have already installed the latest version open civil tensorflow light and media pipe okay simple so now as i already mentioned also i have connect the camera module the raspberry pi 4 camera module with the raspberry pi 4 okay then rpi cam servo face okay go to the code i will mention the link of the repository you need to simply go here code copy the link and then as we always do we need to clone the repository and we are going to change the owner so sudo space git clone sudo space git clone paste the link of the repository hit enter it will clone the repository then sudo ch mode 775 sorry not a uh, ch mode we need to change the owner so command is what sudo ch own space hyphen capital r pi is the user and then ship colon pi is the group and we need to mention our repository name which is the rpi cam hyphen server face that's it now first i'm going to show you how i have connect the servo motor with the raspberry pi 4 so where is our repository here it is then the servo.png image viewer this is what our servo image and as you can see uh, servo it has three wires the orange one red one and the black one or we can say the brown one so orange is basically for the data okay then the red one is for power means 5 volt and the brown is basically the ground okay so data power and the ground okay then we have here our raspberry pi 4 pins image okay so simple we are going to start with connectivity so the data pin which is the uh, orange color pin which i have connect with the raspberry pi 4 physical pin number 16 and gpio pin number 23 okay so orange pin the data pin i have connect with the raspberry pi 4 physical pin number 16 and gpio pin number 23 that's it then of course the red color is the power pin which we want to connect with the 5 volt pin so you can choose either two pin number two the physical board pin number two or you can go with physical pin number four the both pin charge with 5 volt so connect the red color wire with the 5 volt as per your choice and the ground pin which is the brown color pin which you need to connect with the ground so sixth number as you can see the physical pin number six is basically is the ground also you can connect with the pin number 20 because pin number 20 is also ground pin number 14 is also ground okay so connect the ground with the ground the power with the power and connect the data pin with the gpio pin number 23 and physical pin number 16 
that's it this is how you need to connect the servo with the raspberry pi 4 using jumper cables simple so then s tracker dot pi this is what our python script so right click and we are going not from here we are going to open first uh, tony python id so programming tony python id and we are going to open our main script which is the s tracker file open then pi then rpy cam servo tracker dot pi click on ok that's it so here it is as you can see import cv2 time uh, import slip okay then import rpi.gpio as gpio for gpio pins and media pipe as mp because we are going to use a media pipe solution a face tracking solution from media pipe gpio.set warnings and here it is whatever data pin gpio pin number 23 okay which i have already mentioned so gpio.set more gpio.bcm gpio.setup servo pin okay because we mentioned this is the variable is basically represent our gpio pin so we are going to mention your servo pin and gpio.out then we are going to start the pwm with the 50 so pwm is equal to gpio.pwm PWM, and the servo pin and we need to mention the 50 the 50 pwm then cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture this is you know, for our uh, raspberry pi for camera okay so cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture zero then this is the solution for drawing utils mp drawing then this is the face recognition solution for uh, for recognizing the face with the help of mp dot solution face detection face detection model selection one and the confidence level 0 0.5 then count is equal to zero then we need to mention here width of the frame and height of the frame so 680 and height is 480 then we are going to start with pwm zero okay then this is the function for detecting the face so object detect img img input cv2 dot cvt color first we need to convert the bgr image into rgb because open cv is always work with bgr and we need to convert with the image rgb format so bgr to army rgb function okay so img is our object and cv2 dot color bgr to rgb then we have our uh, image ready means we have your image input so now we can go with result this is just a variable mp face process we are going to process our image so mp face process and we need to mention our image input then if there is not result of course we can say there is no face then else if there is result then we can go with the further process so for detection in result dot detections this result we are going to use this result for detections so for detection in result dot detection now we need here a bounding box result so if i print the bounding box b box is equal to detection dot location data relative bounding box it will give us x y and the width and the height so if i start the script it will start our raspberry pi 4 camera module and it will detect my face okay so as you can see it's detecting my face okay and here it is as you can see uh, we have your x mean coordinates y mean coordinates width and height so we are going to use these coordinates for getting x y w h uh, coordinates okay so simple simply let me first stop the code so simply now we have here our b box means x mean y mean width and the height so we are going to use these coordinates for getting the x y w h coordinates okay so simply x y w h is equal to int b box x mean if i just go up here it is as you can see the x mean b box dot x mean into width so we mention here width and the height so we are going to use the width then int b box y mean into height which we already mentioned then b box width b box width into width and b box height into height if you go here b box dot height into the height as you can see then we will get x y w h coordinates now we can simply draw the rectangle then with the help of int x plus x plus w divided by 2 we will get the cx and same way y plus y plus height sorry not height y plus y plus this h and this width for getting cx and cy then we can simply draw the circle means we can get the center point of our face this is a simple formula as we always do okay so then we have now rectangle we have now center point of the frame we can say cx divided by 62 
then we will get the range for our servo motor uh, the range of start from 1 to 11 okay then we will get the perfect range okay so this is how we can control the servo motor with the help of media pies face tracking module so now i am going to uh, use my mobile camera and i will create the real time video then you will get the idea the script is work or not okay so friends as you can see this is what our raspberry pi 4 camera module and this is what our servo motor okay so now if i go here and if i start our script it will start the camera module and then we can see the servo motor will be move okay so i need to make like this way okay as you can see it's tracking my face and servo motor is here if i go here okay if i go here as you can see it's moving servo motor is moving if i center it's center if i go here it's go here so this is how you can control the servo motor with the help of media pipe face tracking module using the raspberry pi 4 camera module i hope you would learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye